Have you ever wondered how to paint kitchen cabinets so that they last? That's exactly what I'm gonna share with you today on Dear DIY Mommy. Painting kitchens can definitely boost a kitchen's value. It can boost a home's value if it's done the right way or in a way that makes the paint last and not chimp and not peel. If it's not done correctly, oh man, you can have a disaster on your hands. I'm gonna share with you my technique for painting kitchen cabinetry, and this doesn't just apply to kitchen cabinetry. This technique can be applied to any type of furniture or cabinetry as well, whether it is wood, melamine, MDF, and so on. This week's question came from Alicia M on YouTube, and she asked, what is the best way to paint kitchen cabinets? Also, I've heard some white paint yellows over time. Can you address this? I'm not a professional painter. However, I'm a DIYer just like you. I always base my projects off of trial and error. So after painting several pieces of furniture and cabinetry, this is my favorite method that has had the best look and the best wear so far. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is remove all of the doors off of your cabinetry. So make sure to remove every single door and drawer. I know this is a little bit annoying, but I promise you this is gonna give you the best results. You're gonna be able to easily paint around the whole door. You're gonna be able to make sure that you don't have paint touching as it dries. And then you want to remove all of the hardware off of your door. So remove all of those hinges, remove all of the knobs and everything. And this is gonna give you the best finish in the end. Next, go ahead and clean all of your cabinetry with a degreasing cleaner. So I use something called crud cutter. You can even use something like Windex. You just wanna get all of the grease and dirt off of every single nook and cranny on your cabinetry. That's gonna help your primer to stick and your paint to stick. Then go ahead and sand all of the doors and the boxes of your cabinet. So the front of the door, the back of the door, all the nooks and crannies. You can use a battery operated sander to make this go a little bit faster. You could also use just a hand sander like a sanding sponge. And the amount of sanding is gonna depend on how glossy your cabinetry is. So if it's super glossy, you are gonna to wanna to spend a lot of time to sand it to make sure you get a nice matte finish at the end. If your cabinetry is already a little bit rough or matte, you don't have to sand as much to make sure that your paint sticks. After sanding, you're gonna to want to clean your cabinetry again. So you wanna make sure you get all of that sanding dust out of the cabinets. Make sure to check all of the corners if you have any trim work on your cabinetry. Make sure everything is perfectly clean. Now lay out a painter's drop cloth on the floor. Place all your doors on top of that. So what I like to do is I like to use scrap pieces of wood or just recycling like cans and bottles to lift my doors up and off the floor so that when they dry, it's a lot easier for them to dry quickly and the paint not to get all smushed up from the floor. Next, go ahead and prime the cabinet. So I like to use Bear's Kitchen Primer. I will link that in the show notes at the DIYMommy.com slash podcast, or if you're watching the YouTube video down in the description box below. Nice and sticky. I love how this grabs to most surfaces like wood, like MDF, like melamine. And you can use a paint sprayer, you can use a paint roller, or if you have to, use a brush to put this on. Just make sure to follow the directions on the paint can to let this dry the exact amount of time that it needs to dry. This is such an important part of this process. Leave the right amount of time for the primer and the paint to dry in between coats. Even better, leave longer. Let it fully cure before you do the next coat. And that's gonna give you a nice long lasting finish that's going to avoid any chipping or any peeling. Now, after your primer has completely dried, it's definitely dry, you've waited the proper amount of time. Now you can go to the painting process. So I like to use Bear's Kitchen Bath and Trim Enamel. It's very, very durable. It dries to a nice hard finish. This is my favorite paint I've ever used on cabinetry. You don't need a top coat for this. So you're gonna take your paint sprayer or your foam roller and you're going to paint the fronts of the doors, the sides, the backs, all of your boxes. Again, please make sure to leave the proper amount of time to dry in between coats for this. You might need two coats or three coats of paint depending on which color you choose. I like using light colors and transforming you know, cabinetry and furniture from dark to light usually. So that's what takes the longest. Often I'm doing three coats, sometimes four 
if I'm transforming something from a dark wood color to a white color. Now, once your cabinets are completely primed, painted, and you've let them dry again, let them cure again, the longer you leave these, the better. Now you can finally put on your hardware. So you can either put new handles on the cabinetry or the old ones back on, put all of the hinges back on, and then attach the doors to the cabinetry. Another thing I'd recommend here is adding little plastic bumpers on the bottom corners of all of your doors and drawers. And what that does is prevent the paint from rubbing against each other. So you prevent, you know, the doors from rubbing against the boxes that are already painted. And that's gonna help prevent that chipping and peeling that we definitely don't want our kitchen cabinets to have after we spent all of that time painting them. The final question, which is what the original asker was asking, uh, that's a weird phrase, but anyway, the final question is, does white paint yellow over time? So in my experience, I've used mostly latex paints and the uh, enamel here, and no, it doesn't, for me, it has not yellowed over time. However, I've heard that some alkyd paints or some oil-based paints that are white have yellowed over time. That's just something that they do. So if you want to avoid the yellowing, don't use oil-based paint. Uh, also things that can cause yellowing in paint would be lots of moisture. So just make sure if you're painting your kitchen cabinets, you take care of any moisture issues in the room, uh, smoke. So make sure that your kitchen is properly ventilated and then of course grease. So just keep your kitchen uh, as clean as you can, tidy, uh, as dry as you can. And then hopefully your white paint shouldn't yellow at all. So that is my basic step-by-step -step method on how to paint kitchen cabinets from start to finish. After so much trial and error, this is my absolute favorite method. If you are a professional painter and you have some other methods or you have some other things you wanna to add to this, I would love to hear from you. Let me know if you're watching on YouTube down in the description box below. If you're listening to the podcast at the DIYmummy.com slash podcast, click on this week's episode and let me know in the comments if you have any more tips to add because we as DIYers could always use all the tips and tricks we can get to make sure that our projects last. If you want to ask a question for me, the DIY mommy, make sure to head to the DIYmommy.com slash podcast, fill in the simple little contact form with your question. I am so excited to answer all of these questions every week as we talk about DIY and decor on a budget. Now it's time for this week's challenge. This week, I wanna challenge you to paint something. So it doesn't have to be a full kitchen cabinetry set. That's probably a little much in a week. It could be anything from you know a side table to something as small as a wooden napkin ring. I don't care, it doesn't matter. I just want you to play around with this paint technique. So going from cleaning the piece to sanding the piece, priming it and painting it. And just play with all of those things that I mentioned in my step-by-step -step tutorial. And let your piece dry, give it some scratches, see how that works for you, and let me know what you think of the results. And again, if you have anything else to add to my kitchen painting cabinet technique, let me know at thediymommy.com slash podcast. Thank you so much for listening today and happy DIYing.